Yo, 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 friends, welcome back to the channel. Nice to review here. Back at it again with another Disney Toy Box action figure review. And today, we will be taking a look at Hiro Hamada. To the left and to the right, we have Baymax from the hit Disney film, Big Hero 6. What an awesome pair. I did buy these separately, as you can already tell. Um, and they do retail for, well, Hiro himself retails for about $15.95. As with Baymax, he retails for $19.95. A little more expensive, but we can kind of see why. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. What a big figure. I think he might actually uh, um, outsize the Hulk. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. I, I have to get my hands on a Hulk. I only seen the Grey Hulk there, but I'm not really too interested in the Grey Hulk. I want the Green Hulk. Probably get the two-pack with the Hulk Buster. Anyways, as you can tell, these are based off the Disney Infinity video game, which I very loved. I, I love that game, which I very liked. Sorry, very loved. I'm not making too much sense today. So let's, uh, let's just, uh, get Baymax out of the way just for a second, just so we can take a closer look at the packaging here. Uh, Heroes will be a little more easier to look at. So as on the top left, as you can see, we have the Disney logo. On the left side, we have the Disney Toy Box logo. Hero's name on the bottom left. And then on the bottom right, we have the warning choking hazard sign. Helmet included, so that's his accessory, but I don't know how that's supposed to fit on his head. He does look like he has quite the muff on top of his head there. I'm not sure if that piece comes off or... Well, I guess we'll find out, right? Let's go ahead and crack this open and find out. But first, as you can see, he's number six in the series, the Disney series. And on the back, as you can see, we have Jack Skellington, Mickey Mouse, and uh, Baymax. We do have Baymax and Jack Skellington. I also have uh, Mickey Mouse, but won't review him just yet not yet anyways uh yeah that's uh hero hamada's packaging and baymax basically just has the same packaging but uh he's a uh, number five as you can see by my thumb there number five Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and crack these bad boys open boom here they are out of the packaging looking absolutely stunning <laughs> i'm loving these figures very excellent looking figures. The paint app on these things are very crisp and the articulation is just as crisp. I didn't really think the articulation would be too good with Baymax here, but the articulation, like the joints are actually quite loose with this figure and it, it, it kind of actually makes up for the articulation. It's just really good. I really do like the Baymax figure. As with uh, Hiro Hamada, I've been seeing videos where people have been complaining how his uh, joints are a little too stiff, but mine are kind of on the, on the loose side. My Hiro Hamada is a little loose. Alright, so we're just going to take a quick look at this uh, <clears throat> pamphlet. This is what comes in the packaging, if I can even open it. So, um, these things here are like these packs that are coming out here very soon. And I did not see these at all at my Disney store. Like, uh, I want this Hulkbuster versus Hulkbuster or Hulkbuster versus Hulk set. And uh, I do have this set, you guys. Stay tuned. Review coming, I hope, soon. Uh, but, like, uh, yes, like, these are just a, a, a quick pamphlet of all the figures that have come in out and I guess figures that are coming soon. Um, which is kind of bizarre because we did have the uh, Grey Hulk, but we did not have the Thanos at my uh, Disney store, which I was kind of bummed out about. I, I wanted that Thanos, but they said they didn't get no Thanos, so bummer. All right, just really quick here. Uh, Baymax has this uh, big, like, uh, indent here where these uh, wings go. He comes with these wings, which are pretty cool. They uh, do articulate, and I really do like these. Th these are, like, so awesome. I love these things. But anyways, I'm guessing you kind of just uh, port that in there, like so. And he just kind of stands with his... Pack. And he looks so much cooler with the wings. Like it, that's just so cool. How that, how those even move. Even. It's kind of sad though. Unfortunate how uh, there's no things for a hero to grab on, so he can't really. But articulation, articulation. So these uh, little shoulder pads go up and down. As you can see, there's a hinge on them. Uh, hinge joint in the arms, as well as the elbows. And you also got the hinge joint in the uh, the wrist as well. And they also swivel side to side. We got some movement in the waist, some swiveling. He can kick forward about that much. And he does have some uh, hinge joints in the knees as well, which are a little stiff on that on this part here. Yes, but uh, yes, and you can see his head is very loose. It's like a very loose, able to wobble around a lot. Very, 
easy. So let's uh, take a quick look at uh, Hiro Hamada. And here we have Hiro Hamada. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he comes with uh, his helmet piece, which as you can see has uh, like uh, his bangs in there and parts of his hair coming out of there. And when it comes to his, that, he kind of just pop his hair off, just like that, and he's bald. So kind of looks like Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender without the arrow thing going on. And, and when you pop this on, it, it's a little tricky to get on there at first. You kind of really have to, kind of just have to wedge it on there. And I can't really do it with my gloves here. Oh, yeah, I can't really do it with my gloves. But uh, yeah, you kind of just wedge it on there and I'll show you in just a sec. Boom! Just like that. <laughs> it took me forever to do it. Uh, I can't do it with these gloves on. Um, but yeah, it, it, it stays on his head pretty pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it is really difficult to switch the hair and helmet back and forth. But uh, yeah. So in terms of articulation, you got the typical T-pose. You got the hinge joints in the uh, shoulder area. Hinge joints in the elbows. Also, you got some hinge joints in the uh, wrist, and they also uh, swivel back and forth, as you can see here. Um, he does. He can do the splits. Now, this is something I wish Jack Skellington can do. Uh, Jack Skellington cannot do the splits. Cannot open his uh, thighs up like that, and it's very frustrating because you got the like the inner shoes kind of scraping up against each other, and it kind of wrecks the paint. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you got some hinge in the ankles. Uh, only a single hinge in the uh, knees, and uh, you got some uh, waist swivel. So uh, yeah, there's your uh, Hero Hamada. <laughs> All right, you guys, there you guys have it, Baymax and Hero Hamada. Awesome figures. I give these figures well. I give Baymax probably a 9.5 out of 10. There's a little bit of nitpicks here and there, but you know, all, overall, all in all, it's a great figure. As with Hiro Hamada, I'd have to give him probably maybe an 8 out of 10. Uh, I like the figure, but I, I do love Baymax a hell of a lot more. Sorry for my language, kids. Anyways, you guys, if you like the review, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, if you, um, like the figures, uh, leave a comment. You know, I, I like to read those things. So, um, that being said, you guys, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.